It's a musical on one of Singapore's pioneers. Dr. Lim Boon Keng opens next week. It's presented by Musical Theatre Limited to commemorate Singapore's bicentennial. Dr. Lim, of course, founded schools, championed education for girls, and he also rallied public support on many causes. And Boon Keng MRT station, mm. that is also named after him. So in the studio with us tonight are director of the show, Jeremiah Choi, and Celine Rosa Tan, who plays Dr. Lim's second wife, Grace. Thanks for joining us this evening. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for having us. Right, Jeremiah, let's just start the ball rolling with you. Yes. Um, obviously, you know, Lim Boon Keng is a, is a very inspiring figure, very well known, very uh, fundamental to Singapore's history. What were some of the challenges in, in trying to portray a person with that much uh, significance? Um, research, actually. Um, although Boon Keng himself has written a lot of things, there's very little written about him. Mm -hmm. um, and the playwright Stella Kahn is uh, Boon Keng's great-granddaughter, and she's actually mm -hmm. researched on the project for about 20 years. Mm -hmm. So last year in July, when she first uh, got me interested in directing this musical, I sat through a year of talking through and fro with her about her grandfather's life and mm -hmm. what she remembered of her grandfather and what she wants uh, people to know about her grandfather. Mm -hmm. So then we focused on um, three main uh, uh, themes of the musical. That is love, um, education and society. Mm -hmm. And then I reduced the three and a half uh, hour script that she, she presented to me a year ago into a 90 minutes musical that we will be seeing next week. Mm. So the, the themes of love, education and society, those are themes that I think everyone can connect yes. with. Yeah. So tell us something more about the connection that you're hoping to make with the audiences. Well, I think in a society that's quite so fast paced, you know, Singapore is really fast paced and uh, quite a lot of things get lost these days and I think connection love I mean we're for education we're, we're probably one of the top when it comes to education but and and that is of course um, thanks to our forefathers but in the process of pursuing education a lot of things get lost mm. connection you know society values, society values yeah. love mm. really and and I feel that this musical hopefully would bring marry all three together yeah. and and bring something really and special. this man especially has got passion. He does. I mean, he really loved his first wife, Margaret. Mm. Did. Unfortunately, she died quite young, so he married Grace. Me. Uh, <laughs> but of practicality, but eventually we found that he, mm. there's a certain kind of love that he had yeah. for yeah. her. Mm. And then subsequently, he's, he's done a lot of great things, you know. Um, when he first, he was the first Queen Scholar mm. uh, from Singapore. Um, and he came back as a medical doctor and he eradicated or he tried to eradicate STDs and it uh, was against opium trade and all that. And he raised funds for the British, he raised funds for China and in the end he was uh, forced to raise funds for the Japanese during the Japanese war. And then he was um, uh, labelled as a, a traitor. Mm -hmm. And this is where we start the musical with. Right. Right. And we, we actually put him on ah. trial, so to speak. Mm. I see. So, 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 Celine, you mentioned earlier that you, you're going to play um, Dr. Lim's second wife. Yes. Um, how, firstly, how did you prepare for the role? And when people see you, mm. what do you think the major takeaway should be? Well, you know, it's really interesting because there isn't a lot of information about Grace. There's mm. quite a, a bit more about Lim Boon King, but very little about his wives. So how I did my research basically was, as I usually do, through the internet, and also asking Stella, who is, his, you know, the great-granddaughter of uh, Lim Boon King. And from there, understanding that she is, she's been with him for about 50 years, quite long-suffering in a way, because as Jeremiah mentioned, the first wife died, and mm. he married the second really, I guess, as an arranged marriage, more for functional purposes. And so what she brought to the table, no less than Margaret, I, I don't think. But um, I feel that she was a very long-suffering kind of person, yeah. a strong, a very resolute kind of person that would stay with the husband and was loyal to the husband. And, you know, the, the saying, uh, behind every successful man, there is a woman. Yeah. I think this is very applicable to right. Grace. And yes. this being a musical, mm. we did take a little bit of artistic a license. Bit. A little bit. <laughs> because we <laughs> have to suspend belief, yeah. right? Yeah. Uh, and of course, you want to go into theatre, into a musical to really enjoy yourself. So, I mean, although we did research, but we did allow our four main characters to actually flesh out the characters accordingly, mm -hmm. after, you know, and also did a bit of research of the people at that time, why they do 
why do they do this or do that or whatever it is? Mm. Um, yeah, and, and it's a step funny. back into history as well. Uh, in yeah. a way, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well, making yeah. it relatable sounds like yeah. a perfect yeah. plan. Definitely. All right. Yeah. Thank, thank you so much, though, for thank coming you. to our studios and, and chatting uh, with us about this. Uh, we've been speaking there with uh, Jeremiah Troy, director of Lim Boon King, the musical, and Celine Rosatan, who plays Dr. Lim's second wife, Grace. And you can catch the musical from the 10th to the 13th of October at Victoria Theatre.